This is maybe one of my favorite robot demos ever. It's a robotic sushi waiter. It's the creation of Silicon Valley startup Willow Garage. They're dreaming up how and why we'll use robots in the future. Over the flowers. That was so smart. It's really, you know, I've been taking my digital dexterity for granted. Was it your goal to create that future where Rosie from the Jetsons is actually occurring? Well, our goal was to get robots out of factories, from behind the cages in factories where they could help people. Whether that's having a bot to shoot pool with, one that can fetch you a beer from the fridge, or uh, my personal favorite, fold your laundry, what is it that makes this robot do amazing things? Well, it starts with how it sees the world. So this is the, the PR2's head, and there, you see a lot of sensors. There's a high-resolution video camera, a couple of stereo pairs. This is actually a projector that works with the stereo to give you better 3D images. Oh, really? And then the Kinect is actually doing something very similar. It's got, it uses infrared to project the texture in the world and then use that texture to also get 3D images. And while the PR2s are programmed to work autonomously, they can also run via game controller. This is amazing. I want one. Look at dances. There's a turbo button? There's a turbo button. Everybody back up. Now, as cool as the PR2 robots are, hardware is only half the story here. Willow Garage is also developing an operating system that they've open sourced. So the hardware and its underlying software can work together to form the future of robotics. It's open source, right? It's open source, and so we've had about 160 interns visiting scholars from around the world come here for three to six months, and then they've gone back home, and they kind of take the software with them. So they can program the robot to do things like clear a table, pick up a set of clean dishes, and then, yes, even attempt to serve me sushi. So delicate. I think he's going to take a bow. He's totally like, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did that. Boom. So what's preventing us from having a robot in every home? Probably the price tag is a pretty big factor. And how much do they cost? Uh, the list price is $400,000 US, so it's expensive. Um, then, of course, there's the constant fear that robots will take over humankind, but Willow promised me otherwise. This robot is not going to take over the world. If you drop a 2 by 4 in front of it, it's done for. <laughs> See, that's what I like to hear. I feel very reassured. And reassured that my place was now set for a bite of sushi. Bon appetit. You could kind of see why they call this restaurant yesterday's sushi, because 35 minutes later or so, I have my bowl, my chopsticks, and my slightly wilted food. But I can definitely imagine the not-too-distant future where robots are servers and much more. And I, for one, look forward to it.